Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and I'm really excited for this one. Whew. Okay, I have been, I, I've watched everyone. Like, I just got so excited my eyes watered. Oh my god, it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> when you get this excited over a foundation. But you'll understand because it's the YSL All Hours Foundation. And this thing is supposed to be, like, just the cat's ass. Again, everything on my channel is the cat's ass. And... I guess, wow, that looks really light in the bottle, but this foundation is literally being loved by so many right now, and I've seen it, it's got great reviews, and I'm just like, I have to put it on my face. So we're going to do just that. Um, I picked up the shade BD20 Warm Ivory. It doesn't look warm in the bottle. Um, on here, it does say up to 24 hour wear of flawless matte full coverage faceness, and it is oil free. Um, as you guys know, oh, and this was like 50 some dollars a bottle. It's not cheap. High end. Um, Sephora has them, but they're like really sold out. I actually had to get mine from the YSL website, um, which is okay. They, they looked like they had a good return policy. Um, let's put it on my face. I'm, I'm too excited. Like I, I can't even think of what I normally say right now because I just want to put it on that bad. All right. So that's not bad. Like it's, it's definitely got warm to it. Um, and it's like, okay, all right, that's not horrible. Where's my beauty blender? Where did I put it? Beauty blender. Booty, 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 rocking. Where the hell is it? I literally just had it. Okay, well, we're going to go in first with a brush, which I never do, but, you know, can't find my beauty blender, and I need to move some of this product before it rolls all the way off my hand. It's very liquidy, okay. But I guess this stuff is just great, so we shall see. Oh. Smells like cucumber water. Wow, the coverage on that is really nice. I mean, that was like one swipe, and it just like, whoosh. It was like, oh no, honey boo-boo, honey boo-boo page. <laughs> it looks streaky with a brush. I need the beauty blender. Now I really have to go find it. Whoa. Somehow it ended up down in a bag by my foot. That's a good spot for it, Paige. So we're going to go ahead and let's buff this side out. Okay, so if you don't like scenty foundations, this might not be for you. It has a fairly strong like on the Richter scale of smell we're looking at probably like a solid like a solid six for that cucumber it's not a bad smell it's just quite a bit of it this does seem to oxidize a little bit I just squirted a fresh dot and I don't think it's gonna pick up on camera but the fresh dot appears to be lighter than the other foundation I had on my hand so I'm hoping it's not oxidizing like very bad. I don't I don't ever have a problem if a foundation oxidizes like, you know, a quarter of a shade or something like that just because it reacts, you know, with the heat of my skin or whatever. Like I get that. But the problem I have is when it's like, oh, never mind. It's, you know, now it's really purple or something and it's like it's not purple, but it's like an insane difference. I'm just like, you know, I can't live with that, especially today. Like I need this to work out. Because I have meetings today, and I need them to take me seriously. I think the yellow undertone in this is really awake right now. Like, it's definitely popping. I can see it up close in certain areas against my pigmentation on my skin. It's like, oh, that yellow is very real. Um, It's not a bad warm. It's just not so much the normal warm undertone that I'm used to. Doesn't make it wrong. Just, you know, a little different. Um has a really nice coverage. If I had to choose, though, brush or beauty blender, I think that the brush gives you more coverage, but the beauty blender, again, is what kind of smooths everything out. So I'm actually going to take just a tiny, tiny bit and take the brush and go in and see if I can build up a little bit of coverage on some of these acne spots. Yeah, I think that the difference is a lot of other warm tone foundations that I've used, and for some reason, okay, that's a good example. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Maybelline Better Skin, I'll put a little drop of that on my hand so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And then a little bit of this YSL. And I realize, you know, obviously they're not the same shade or anything, and I'm not so much comparing that. But I want to get a comparison for the warmth that I'm talking about. Like if you look at the uh, Better Skin, which is over here, it almost has like a warm brown, like bronzer undertone. And this YSL, their, their version of warm colors have more of a yellow undertone and when I say yellow I mean like yellow right so you can kind of see the comparison um it might not be the best example I've got but those are definitely two of the warmer foundations or better skin is so far you guys it actually looks very nice on the skin um it doesn't feel very light but it also doesn't feel super super heavy it's like right in between where it's like yes 
I can tell I've got foundation on, but it's not the worst feeling. Um, I need to like let it dry for a second so I can see how much oxidizing I'm looking at. Next step, you guys, you of course know it. We're going in with the shape tape because it's going to be a long day. Long, 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 long day. That foundation builds really well, though. Like, I went in extra on my cheeks. I feel like what I, whenever I test a foundation, like, I definitely give it, like, the ringer test. You know, I try to test them all the same, and I try to test, you know, do they blend? Do they this? Do they that? And it seems like I'm waiting for the day that I end up catching crap for it. <laughs> That it's like, oh, you make this foundation try to do too much. It's like, no, honey, I just try to make it live in my world. That's the one thing that irritates me when, like, a lot of other beauty people, like, the bigger beauty people, they test out foundation and stuff, and they're like, well, I'm going to wear it all day. And I'm like, yeah, but what are you going to do? Like, what, what are you doing while you're testing this foundation? Like, you know, those of us that would try it are, like, working or, like, doing things. You got to give me more than just, like, oh... I'm going to wear it. Like, that's not good enough for me. Wow, that blends beautifully with my concealer. Oh my gosh, that looks so nice. Now, we are getting a little weirdness around my lip area, which, again, you guys know, nothing weird, but, like, irritating. Okay, so next, we're going to bake. I think that this is going okay. I just, I want to be very mindful of whatever setting powder I use because I feel like it's already wearing kind of heavily. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Cover FX, which is one I probably don't use very much on camera. Um, but it is a lighter translucent powder. It wears lighter on my face. Um, and I know, you know, all translucent powders and stuff like that are different for different people. Uh, normally I would use my Lottie London one. I just don't know where I put it. <laughs> so far though, this foundation is layering up very nicely. It looks very nice on the skin. Um, I'm hoping that after my, you know, my hour-ish, my sweet spot sets in and, and everything really starts to cook together, I think it'll look really beautiful. I actually have really high hopes for this foundation. Um, I can't say, though, that I would keep it in this color. I might want to switch out and get a, maybe not a warm, which is weird, too, because lately I've been, like, really loving and pulling on the warm colors, like warm shades, and uh, they're beautiful, but for some reason this one is just yellow. And I do not have, like, yellow is one of those colors for me that, like, when I say, I, I can't even wear yellow. <laughs> like, a, a yellow shirt, I look relatively, mildly, just ridiculous in it. So, I, I don't typically do anything yellow. I think I do have, like, two yellow shirts, and that's because I was like, damn the torpedoes, I love this shirt. And other than that, low, like, I just, I don't wear yellow. So, I think for me... Maybe that's why it looks so weird. Like, maybe it won't when it's done being in, like, bronzer and all that. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Okay, so, so far it's looking pretty good. I definitely think that the shape tape and the um, setting powder are helping, you know, kind of mix with that yellow undertone, lessen it a little bit. Um, and I think it'll end up being okay, especially whenever I just have, like, this layer on, I always look at myself and I'm like, wow. You are just, like, a lot of white face with, like, tiny little features. <laughs> like, little eyes, little nose, and a, well, okay, a giant mouth. But I feel like, I, am I the only one that feels that way? Like, if you look at yourself with just foundation, like, I have no brows, no nothing. I feel like I just look insane. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, sorry, I just, like, scratched my face, and I thought, like, if I just put a trench in my face, I'm going to be pissed. But I didn't, so we're good. I don't have to kill anything today. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I will get my face on, and I will check in with you when the process is over. Okay, I went ahead, I added everything else on. I did get a request to kind of buzz through some of the products that I use um, during that section where I'm just doing my makeup. So for bronzer, I went in with my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. Um, for like cheek and eyes, I did go in with my Kylie Cosmetics. I used this palette and this blush. I layered this highlight with my Jeffree Star highlight in the shade Crystal Ball. Um, which is a really, I just added that because I'm super pale and that highlight has more of a pink undertone. So I have to have something with a lot more like reflective brightness for my skin tone. Um, and then what else? Oh, lipstick. Lipstick is, uh, Velvet Teddy by MAC. I'm living for this. I went in on this thing so hard. Um, it is one of my absolute favorite shades. I think that it's like a very nice, um, 
this is what I call like a regular lipstick, you know, like a traditional lipstick, and it works so well for just like my day-to-day. -day. It's a super comfortable wear. I love the shade. I just, it's easy to apply. I love everything about it. So um, those are the run-through of the products. Um, this foundation layers like a dream. Like my, I will give you guys a close-up because I want you to really see. I mean, it looks like just, it looks snatched. So hold on a second. You can see all through here, like, look at that. And that's not just the highlight I'm talking about, although, whoo, child. But, I mean, I look so just even. It evens out my skin tone really well. The coverage is pretty fantastic. Um, the only area I had an issue with is right down here, which I didn't expect that to be a thing. Um, my nose looks really good. There's no caking around the outside. I mean, everything just looks, in general, really well. It layered so nice with all the other products, too. Oh my gosh. Okay. Zoom out. So I'm going to go ahead. I will go about my day-to-day -day life and um, I will show you guys what it looks like at the end of the day. We will talk about it, how it wore, all that good stuff. Um, so far though, it really hasn't oxidized much beyond that initial little bit, which is whew, such a relief because I was terrified I was going to be like sitting in this meeting and my face was going to turn like orange. Like, no thank you. So, or yellow or some other jaundicey looking color that quite frankly, I don't need any help in that. I look sick enough as it is some days. So I'm going to get scooting and I will talk to you guys all at the end of the day. I'm so excited. Okay. Calm down Paige. I've been waiting so long to try this foundation. I'm too excited. Okay, you guys, it is the end of the day, and boy, what a day it has been. It went from cool to hot. I am now sweating. Um, and my final thoughts on this foundation are it looks very nice, I think-ish, from far away, but I think when you get up close, that's when you really start having problems with it. I would say starting around hour six, five, six for me, personally. Um, and I think, remember this morning in my first clip, I said something about how it seemed heavier, kind of cakier, thicker. And I think the trick with this foundation is definitely definitely going to be a use as little as possible I know that people say that about every foundation and blah 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 but I feel like this is definitely one of those foundations where it's so thick and dense by itself that if you layer it up it's going to look very very cakey in real life now with that being said again I think from far away it still looks okay the planes of my face still look very nice my main issue is right in here and I say that because it's really broken and looks very crumbly right in that main area um, and I think I feel like I struggle with products in that area in general so I can kind of understand it um, and I think you'll understand a little bit more once I do the close-up so let's do that real quick and then we will finish our conversation Okay, you can kind of see it up through here. A lot of breakage going on down on the chin. But the planes still look pretty nice. I mean, I think overall for, you know, an 8 to 9, 10 hour day, they look good. But my main issue is, again, this nose, it's pretty cakey. For some reason, it's not picking up as well on camera. And then right under here. The forehead looks okay, a little broke up in the wrinkles. It did settle into my smile lines very quick this morning. Mm. But I think my, my main issue with this is just that it went on so thick and cakey from the beginning that I feel like it, it if you're going to use it, which it has a beautiful finish, very luminous, it looks very beautiful, but you need to be as light-handed as possible with the foundation, the concealer, and definitely the setting powder. Like I said this morning, I used Cover FX, which I thought would have been light enough. Maybe something I will revisit with my Lottie London or even my Velvetizer. That might be just a smidge light. Um, just literally the lightest products you have because I think that it wears beautifully but if you're not careful it will overstay its welcome and I think that's probably the best way I could put it um, I think I, I just wish that it hadn't worn so rough because it is so beautiful and that's and that's like what's really like conundruming me um, but overall I do like it it's one that I would consider continuing to work with it didn't oxidize at all which I was like kind of shook about like okay didn't oxidize I was fully expecting it um, and it looked beautiful for the first like four to five hours of the day I mean flawless like my whole face just looked pristine and then after that it just kind of went slower and slower downhill to where I was like oh this is not cute so I think that that's really all there is to say about it my first impressions are it is a great foundation I am super super oily maybe that's something else to do with it maybe it just didn't last as long because I'm so oily um, so maybe I'll try it with my Milani prime shield again or a different um, primer that would help control the oil better um, 
I thought the one the combination I used today was pretty good but you know maybe maybe something to consider there I definitely think that if you're oily you need to go about this like with minimal product and the best way you can possibly control oil um, if you are like drier or combination skin I actually think this would work pretty well for you because it I mean it lasts like a dream and I think the only thing that I don't even know what that was but I think the only thing that really broke it up so to speak was all of the oil it really really separated it on my face I even had to blot once today and I felt like it didn't even take that shine away which I was like <laughs> okay oil so bad that it's not even gonna penetrate the force field <laughs> okay so I think those are my thoughts you'll definitely see me working with it later I actually got a comment today um a girl oh gosh I'm horrible with names guys but one of you had actually suggested doing like a kind of a battle of the faces to see which one wore better like this one or the Estee Lauder double wear something like that might be cool you know where all elements the same what do you think how does it wear kind of thing that would be awesome so maybe something like that I mean, what do you guys think leave your comments and suggestions down below I love that kind of stuff I am all about it so um, I think like I said overall definitely something I will continue to work with but not something that as of this moment I could like give it my stamp and anywhere near this 24-hour uh, workage thing I mean yeah is it still there after 24 hours yes but does it look good now and I think that actually I'm probably one of the only people that has said that in their review so a lot of people really really like it so I think it might just be me my combine or my oily skin in combination with other products so I will keep working with it and I'll kind of keep you guys apprised of the goings-on let you know what I end up thinking and if I end up sending it back because you know I have no shame in that so I'm gonna get going because it's fair time, and I got stuff to do, and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye! Choo-choo-choo-choo-choo. Hmm.